why isn't Nancy Pelosi, um, you know, she's queen of the Democrats right now. Why is not she stepping in and saying, you know what, we're pushing ourselves too far left? Because recently Donald Trump came out and said, you know what, um, I don't know how anybody who is a, you know, who's Jewish can actually vote for the Democrat Party based upon what these two women are saying. Because there, there isn't any, uh, you know, anybody from the Democrat left to say, hey, 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 we don't all think like this. They're, they're basically the spokesperson of the left. You know, uh, what do you think about that? Is, is Donald Trump correct? Well, he's terrifyingly accurate. Mm. And I'm, I'm afraid for the country because Trump's right. Look, there were a ton of Democrats in Israel on the congressional trip and they and the Republicans, they had separate trips and then they merged together and they made a bunch of joint statements talking about how terrific Israel is and how terrific the relationship is, the synergy economically, socially, politically and strategically between our two countries. You would think that they would also have a statement saying, and oh, by the way, out of the 535 members of the Senate and the House of Representatives, we've got a couple of oddballs, and we disagree with their statements, mm -hmm. and they're wrong, and we don't want you to think that that's the way the Democrat Party is, and you certainly already know that's not the way the Republican Party is, and you know what, Jermaine? Then Trump wouldn't have had to open his mouth. The reason he said what he did is precisely, sadly, and pathetically, because you're right, because the Democrats didn't disavow them, mm -hmm. didn't say the statements are racist, didn't say the statements are anti-Semitic, didn't say the statements call for mass murder. What the Democrats that have spoken out said, and this is almost every major Democrat candidate, that it's outrageous that a member of Congress is denied entry to an ally's country. In spite of the fact they're advocating for violence and overthrow and, and literally destruction of the country. Mm -mm -mm. You know, some years ago, I remember a meeting with the uh, American ambassador, sorry, the is the Israeli ambassador to the United States uh, in Washington, and I was asking him at the time about Ahmadinejad, who was Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, who was president of Iran at the time, who used to go on television almost every other day and threaten to destroy the United States, oh, yeah. uh, threaten to destroy Israel and every Jew he could find around the world. And I said, how do you not go crazy having to deal with this guy? on a regular basis and have to answer questions about all of his massively horrible statements about how great Hitler was and you know what he used to say. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, he's almost like the gift that keeps on giving. Because when people hear those crazy statements, they know that Iran and Iran's leadership is nuts. And it makes our job much simpler because all we have to do is get out of the way and let him talk. What's really sad now, Jermaine, is how much the world has changed in the last, oh gosh, 15 years since yeah. I had this conversation. Now, as you just pointed out, the right thing to do is Pelosi and Steny Hoyer and Jerry Nadler and all the leaders of the Democrat Party who are the old people who have been around a long time ought to stand up and say, enough's enough. Sit down, shut up. You're out of line. And we, the Democrats in the House, that we control 100%, we can do whatever we want, are going to censure you because your behavior is unbecoming of a member of the House of Representatives and, more importantly, internationally, a representative of the United States abroad. We want you to stop talking. Mm -hmm. If they did that, no, three things would happen. Trump would stay out of it. Mm -hmm. Two, our allies would feel better. And three, if 
I was advocating uh, as a um, political consultant for the Democrat Party, the mainstream Democrats, who aren't the crazy progressives on the left, would say, oh, thank goodness, there's sanity back in my party. I can support my party now because the crazies have been censured. But they're afraid of these people, Jermaine, because they have so much power or perceived power, Nancy Pelosi's afraid of them, literally. And so is the rest of the leadership, in spite of the fact that these women are wildly out of the mainstream. Mm -hmm. And the more they talk horrible stuff and they're not spanked, the worse they talk horrible stuff. And it gets worse and worse and worse. So now almost all of the House is parroting him, them. And listen, I'll give you an example. Ted Lieu. He's a congressman from California. He came out last week and attacked the American ambassador, Mr. Friedman, who is the ambassador to Israel, saying he has dual loyalties and he has to be reminded that he's an American and needs to be loyal to America. Mm -hmm. That is a classic, horrible, anti-Semitic trope and Ted Lieu should have been censored. Mm -hmm.